Hi everybody, this is Chris Glitzos and welcome to my YouTube channel known as The Wood Tinkerer. In February, I took a little trip down to the Bahamas. People of the Bahamas, they had very simple way of doing things. First of all, they were limited with the amount of material that they had to use, but they were very creative. And they were so creative that it influenced me. And one of the main things that I enjoyed watching, the way they put contrast in some of the objects that they made out of wood. And they made it very simple. They used a torch. So today, with no further ado, we're going to use a torch to do a similar project, but very different than they did. So enjoy, stand tuned and, <laughs> and enjoy the video. It is only fair for me to limit the material as well. I had this leftover palette and I think I would use it for this particular project. The torch is one of the tools that I thought that in my life I would never use. It burns every little sawdust or anything that's rough right off the wood leaving it a nice clean finish. Uh, this is a little dangerous so take your time with it have a fire extinguisher with you, take all the precautions as needed. The polyurethane that I'm using is actually a thick base. It looks like it's really thick, but it's not. And once it dries out, it does give a nice layer equivalent to three coats. I'm adjusting the table saw to cut both rough ends, side rough ends. Uh, this will give me a nice smooth finish on both sides. I'm eyeballing the table saw to make a rapid cut. This is the first cut. This is the second adjustment of the height to cut out that rabbit piece. I'm using a round over bit. I am doing all four corners. Time to have some fun. Please, if you are afraid of cutting glass, have a professional do it. Cutting glass is very easy. Your cutting bit should be very clean and very sharp. You do one nice pass. You use the back end of the bit, you line it up right in the middle of that nice thin cut and give it a light tap. Simple as that. Once in a while I like to eyeball things. I'm using a speed square to get the lines where I want to make my miter 45 degree cut. A rough fit to see how things will line up. We lost the basic video on the glue up, but glue up was very simple, very straightforward for this build. I was looking to make the round over a lighter color. The oak stain was darker than what I wanted, but once I've started there was no going back. We still had to finish it with some polyurethane to give it some shine. Time for the assembly. Windex does a nice job to make it spiffy clean and transparent. The best material that I found out for backing board for the picture frame was this overnight priority mail box. The cardboard was thin and just the right size for the fit.
Nothing fancy here, just a set of nails to hold everything in place, just like in the good old days. There you have it. What I loved about this project was that the torch gave it this nice dark color. Now surprisingly what I found out is I didn't do any sanding at all. <laughs> Not like most of my videos I say here we go again sanding. Well this time we didn't do no sanding whatsoever. What happened was when the torch flame hits that nice fine uh, wood kind of like furry, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, what it does, it burns it right out and it leaves a nice finish to it. And what it does is it gives you that grain look, that deep, deep grain look as you can see. Now, the other thing that I use that helped this whole, this whole project quite a bit, I went out and I purchased the Heavy Coat Polyurethane and it dries really fast. Now what that did is instead of putting multiple layers of polyurethane to give it a nice luster shine, it actually did it with one coat. No running, no nothing, and it came out pretty, pretty nice. Let me show you some pictures, close-up shots of the framework of this picture. And I have one more idea about picture frames. That's on my next video. So with no further ado, God bless and thank you to everybody.